morning everybody I'm the Gulf Coast granny and welcome to my kitchen today I have got something I want to show you guys this is called Southern Biscuit Formula L complete biscuit mix now look I am NOT a biscuit maker I've been cooking for 35 years of my life and have never been able to make a decent biscuit and that, that's the God's honest truth. Once in a great while, I'll attempt it, and it turns out all right. My stepmother makes the best biscuits I have ever put in my mouth. And for years, I tried to get her to show me how to do it. And she said, you have to feel it. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so, I was at Walmart a few weeks ago, and I was looking around in the flower department, and I come across this. And I'm going to get real close so y'all can see it. This is what it looks like. Now, they also have a flour mix. Don't buy that. Buy the one that says Formula L right up across here. Y'all, this will change your biscuit making life. I can finally make a biscuit that's worth it. It's salt. <laughs> so, I'm going to turn my oven on to... It says... 450 degrees. Hush up. It seemed awfully high to me to put it on 450, but that's what the package says and that's what I'm going to do. Now mind you, I've made a couple of batches of these already. In fact, I've gone through a whole thing of it. And this is my second one. Now, I can't find my one cup measuring cup. So I'm going to use this. And I know this is for liquid measurement, but you know what? It'll get close enough. What you need is three and a quarter cups of this mix. So let's do that. Well, there's three cups. And I do know where my quarter cup measuring cup is, so I'll use that. Throw that in there. Now, you only need two ingredients. You need this bag of stuff and a little container of buttermilk. You need one and a quarter cups of this buttermilk. And I'm just going to make a little well in the middle here and pour my buttermilk in. Now I'm going to take this fork and stir around just until this mix is wet. You don't want to handle it too much. Put a little bit more in there because this looks kind of dry. Alright. It's kind of crumbly. That's okay. Now, let me move this. I buttered my pan. I love this tool right here. It makes making these biscuits super simple. I don't even know what it's called. I think it's called a pastry cutter, but I could be wrong. It could be something else. Does anybody know what this is called? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Okay, I said you need two ingredients. You need three. The only reason I'm going to use this is to dust this thing off. Here we go. Throw some flour down. Turn this out onto the flour. What I'm going to do is just mash it a couple of times. Get it into one solid mound here. Put a little bit of this on the top, just a bit. Use my roller and roll it to about, I like mine about half an inch thick. Now, the reason I like to use this tool here is because all of my cookie cutters and my biscuit cutters are in storage. So, I have to improvise. I'm just going to cut it like this, how 
however big I think it needs to be. I like to make my biscuits kind of square, so I'm just going to lay it in there. This one here. And I'm just shaping them with my hands, y'all. And I'll do this till I get the whole pan full. Well, that was going to be a little mini biscuit there. And they don't have to be pretty because they're going to taste good regardless of what they look like. Poppy always accuses me of being the messiest cook. He could be right. All right. Normally that makes 12. <laughs> but I think I made them a little big. So there's going to be a blank spot. All right, so now what we're going to do is stick these in here, and we're going to bake them for 10 to 12 minutes. some butter across the top of these and we're gonna try them. Oh hush. The stove is so loud. I'm grateful for it. My landlord brought me a new one because my other one was acting up and I'm so glad he did because this one works beautifully. Look at that. That's about an inch thick. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look, y'all, it's crispy on the outside. And on the bottom. And it's light and fluffy on the inside. Mmm. Just like a biscuit ought to be. And now... With the Southern Biscuit Formula L Biscuit Mix, I can be a self-respecting Southern lady and cook biscuits and nobody has to know the difference. Y'all, these really do taste like made from scratch biscuits. I've tried Bisquick, I've tried other mixes, and nothing, nothing compares to this. So please, if you are biscuit challenged like I was, buy yourself some of this mix because it's fantastic. Um, one thing to go really good with this is some sausage gravy. Or, I'll put a video over here, and you guys can watch my uh, video for chocolate gravy. That would be amazing on this. Um, go ahead and watch it if you want to learn how to make chocolate gravy and throw it on your biscuits that you make with this mix. <laughs> Y'all have a great afternoon, and I'll talk to you again real soon, all right?